five, four, three, two, one, go. Hey, what's up, Styrene Fanatics? Glad you could make it back to the channel. This is Time Machine Scale Models. I'm your host, Rob. So I figured since I'm waiting on the paint for the 67 Mustang Fastback for the Mustang 60 group build, I would do an unboxing on a kit that I picked up about, oh, close to two weeks ago now from Spotlight Hobbies. What's that? I can't hear you. Oh, you've seen the Little Red Express truck a hundred times? Yeah, well, that's not what we're talking about. But that's the inspiration for the Warlock. So we're going to be unboxing the Warlock today. Let me tell you a little bit about this Little Red Express here. So I picked this up about 15 years ago. And, you know, it's it's partially built. I want to redo it because I'm a much better better model builder now. And uh, I need a new set of decals. But when I was building this truck, I had this fantasy about building a Warlock too. So I found a guy online that had the decals for the Warlock. And I got them off of him. They're around here somewhere. They're a little bit worse for wear. The gold ink has uh, started rubbing off the paper and everything. So, of course, that left me wanting for a Dodge Warlock. Kind of like it left me wanting for the Dodge Demon that we just recently got. And you got to give it up to Round 2 and MPC for bringing these older kits back because some of us haven't seen them since we were kids. So I'm kind of happy that we have the Dodge Warlock. So give me a minute to get everything situated and we will be unboxing the Dodge Warlock. If you want to see that, stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Let's take a look at the box art. So we have the Dodge Warlock on here and you can see the uh, warlock on the hood those cold stripes got the rex it shows you the bonus decal the hood decal the side got the wood textured bed railing opening tailgate the big v8 engine detailed interior four-wheel drive suspension toolbox giant off-road tires Authentic decals and custom gold wheels. I have not opened this. I did take the uh, cellophane off the bottom. I have not opened this and got into it yet. Looking at this panel. It tells us that the wheels are molded in metallic gold. Model is molded in white. Plated parts included. Pinstripe decals. Model illustrated actual size. Alright. So let's open her up. Check her out. over there all right so first up we've got all the chrome parts and you can see what's all in there the bumpers the grill uh, some of the engine accessories mirrors and stuff like that etc etc we'll put this off to the side open this up of course I cleaned off my bench to do this video and I put all my tools away. So not much different from the Little Red Express that I'm seeing already. It's pretty similar makeup. You got the cab, you got the chassis, you got your interior tub, and then you have your bed. Wood grain. Obviously this is a tailgate and opening tailgate. So that doesn't look too bad. You got a little bit of flash to clean up here. Some mold lines to clean up and stuff like that. But that's to be expected. Not bad. It's not warped, so that's a bonus. Stick this off to the side. You got your clear parts. You got your off-road tires. Let's open it up. Take a closer look. So they are desert dog pc7 formulas kind of squishy let me turn this light on there we go not bad nice tread pattern look pretty dope now if you guys have never built the little red express truck it's a little finicky in spots not bad, but uh, you got to take your time fitting stuff up and make sure you mock it up because uh, it does fit kind of wonky in places. So you have your spare tire and spare tire carrier, toolbox, cross members, 
I had a hard time with these cross members on the original truck, your radiator. This will be your engine cradle, your battery, your steering wheel. This will be your uh, hoodjama jiggers, your um, core support. Yes, that's it. Thank you guys, core support. I bet you guys were screaming at the uh, the screen. Rob, that's a core support. Your exhaust, your firewall. Let me put this right back in the bag. And of course, we have our dash here. We've got our tailgate. Some of your interior. This is your console. Oops. Dropsies. Dropsies. And uh, I think these are our horns. You see the bag? There's your bed rails. They need a lot of cleanup. They've got a lot of flash on them. That's okay, though. Drive shaft. Little tiny drive shaft. What do we have here? Okay. So your engine block halves, your rear end halves, your leaf springs, the rest of your front suspension, your uh, fan belts and pulleys, your exhaust manifolds, oil pan, and intake. Up here you have your water pump and your heads. So it's pretty basic. You can see that it's very, very basic. It doesn't have a whole lot of detail, which I didn't expect a whole lot of detail. This is this is an old kit. This is just a new release of an old kit. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, so let's look at these gold wheels a minute. I don't know if you could tell um, on the camera, but these these just aren't going to do. These are going to have to be primed and painted gold because these are like, they're molded in gold plastic. And if you can imagine that, I mean, you're looking right at it. It, they look very toyish. So they're going to have to be primed and painted gold if you want them to look halfway decent. These do not look decent like this. Sorry. I'd rather have them gold plated. You know what I'm saying? All right. So what do we got here? More rear end stuff. Do we have a second? Oh, no, never mind. One's front, one's a rear. Duh, it's four wheel drive truck, Rob. Come on, get with the program. More cross members. You got your jack here. Shocks up here. Transfer case. Yep. Your front diff, drive shafts, leaf springs, etc. Put this off to the side. More exhaust pieces, your hood, your wheel backs. What do we got here? Yeah, there's a lot of flash to clean up, guys, but. Your fuel tank, I'm imagining that's an awful big fuel tank. Your brush bumper, your antenna, your CB radio, and part of your roll bars. That's about it. That's it for. Plastic parts. Let's look at these decals. Once I get these back in the bag. Like I said, it's an older kit. You're going to have to clean up flash and mold lines. That's not really a big deal for most of us. I have no complaints about having them put in that work. It just makes for a better paint job. The more, the more prep work you do, the better finish you come out with. Don't you agree? All right, well, these are the decals, so let's check them out. Oh, yeah. Nice and crisp, guys. Nice and crisp. That demon looks pretty badass, don't it? That goes on the hood. And, of course, you have all, all the pinstriping. Up here, you got your power wagon. Your custom 100. Your dash decals, you got some license plates. Yeah, look pretty good. I would imagine you'd want to take your time with these decals. I, I what I can see right now is this is a solid decal, this whole thing. So these are not pinstripes around here, and this is void. This is all clear right in here. So that's gonna take a little bit to lay down and get that thing laying nice and flat 
on the bed side or on the truck side I'm, I'm I mean these are the bedside decals and this is the tailgate put these back in here keep them well protected so they don't end up looking like the ones I already have which is crap all right, anything else in the box? Just axles. That's it. And I'm not going to go through the instructions, but let's take a look at something really quick. I think I can open them. All right, so here's the instructions. And they've got 11 steps. That's about it for those. All right, guys. That's all I got for this unboxing. Now you get to see what's in the Warlock. And uh, go pick one up from Spotlight Hobbies. All right, guys. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Happy modeling.